Behind me, we have the Pratt & Whitney YF119 engine. This is the prototype for the engine that's used in the F-22 Raptor, which is originally known as the Advanced Tactical Fighter. Now, the engine itself is quite remarkable because it's capable of propelling the airplane into what they call super cruise. That means going faster than the speed of sound without using an afterburner or dumping fuel right into the exhaust. Um, so there's a lot of really cool technologies developed by AFRL and its contractors that are into that. But I what I want to talk about is the end of the engine. These are the nozzles. They provide what's called thrust vectoring. They're able to actually move up and down to direct the thrust coming out of the back of the airplane. This is called two-dimensional thrust vectoring. They can only move up and down versus three-dimensional, which could go side to side. Now, why is this important? Well, for the F-22 or the Advanced Tactical Fighter, that was really developed not to enhance maneuverability, which is what we think of today, but really to provide for short takeoff and landing or stole. The Air Force was really concerned about this in the 1970s and the early 1980s. This was in the heyday of the Cold War because we thought about having fleets of fighter jets stationed at air bases in Europe. Well, if you wanted to knock out an entire fleet of fighter jets, you didn't have to blow up all the airplanes. All you had to do was blow up all the runways. Well, if you could enable a fighter jet to take off and land in a much shorter space, you had much greater flexibility to where you could deploy those and destroying runways would be much less effective for taking those out of action. So the Air Force Flight Dynamics Laboratory and the Aero Propulsion Laboratory that are now the Aerospace Systems Director of AFRL got together to do a demonstration program called SMTD, or Short Takeoff and Landing Maneuver Technology Demonstrator. They put these, these nozzles or experimental versions of them on the back of an F-15 and flew it out at Edwards Air Force Base to demonstrate how these could fly, to really refine those technologies, and also to integrate those with the flight control system so a pilot wouldn't have to think separately about, well, I need to move nozzles one way and I need to move the flight controls another, but all that would happen automatically through the flight control system. Well, that proved very successful and really uh, as a risk reduction effort, we call it. They ironed out the problems with that. Mainly there were a lot of heating issues with the panels. And so now, even though they're not so concerned about having the short takeoff and landing, they're able to use uh, the greater maneuverability provided by these nozzles to do really uh, fantastic air-to-air uh, -air maneuvers uh, using the F-22. And if you go see one at an air show today, uh, they really put those, those to good use.